One of the fundamental reasons I, I wrote the book is I, I, th I think it would be helpful to ordinary people in reading the Bible. And, and I, I see this book uh, as being useful in a number of ways. I, I think for pastors, as you're working on a particular uh, book of the Bible, you, you can read a chapter in my book and, and get a sense of what the message of, of that book is. But I also discuss in every case how it fits in with the rest of the canon of Scripture. I, I think it would also be helpful in Sunday school classes. I actually know of a woman's Bible study right now that's going on where they're going through the whole Bible. So they're reading through Scripture. And, uh, but they're also reading my book just to help them get a, get a, get a feel for the, for the whole story. So I, I think it could actually be a textbook in introduction classes as well because it is of a, of, a, of a survey nature. But I'm not looking at the typical introductory kinds of questions like date, authorship, his, history. I'm, I'm trying to uh, set forth the theology of each writer and, 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 the, and the way each writer contributes to the story. And I think that's something that um, sometimes when we look at introductory questions and history and authorship and setting, all very important things, but sometimes in our classes, we ignore, we ignore the story that is being told. We, we ignore what the text is actually saying, and, and that, that's the most fundamental message of all for us. So I, I think it's helpful also for the individual Bible reader. You just want to learn more about the Bible, get a, get a feeling for the big picture. We all learn, right? We learn from looking at the little individual bits and pieces, but we also learn by, by zooming out and seeing that big picture as well. And, and that's what I'm trying to accomplish in that book.